This training DVD is going to set out the process that should follow after a police officer makes an arrest under Section 136 of the Mental Health Act. It's going to outline for all the staff in all of the organisations the three different pathways that should follow from a decision to make that arrest. And so those three pathways being the place of safety, the emergency department, or taken to the police cells. To set the scene, we're now going to see a short clip of a man acting very strangely uh, in a public place. I've told you about this machine. The lights all flashing in sequence. Where are you? Come there. Come down, mate. Come down. But I have to come back here and look at this machine. I'm not threatening you. I'm not threatening you. In any incident a police officer responds to, they need to make a, an early decision about whether to arrest somebody under the Mental Health Act or whether to arrest someone for a criminal offence. And it may or may not be the case that the officer suspects a mental health problem in someone who does in fact have a mental health problem. It may be that their behaviour causes the officer to think about a public order offence or, or a, a minor assault or damage. And it's important that the officer considers the decision as carefully as possible, prioritising mental health wherever it's suspected, unless of course the offence is particularly serious. So if somebody is arrested for a public order offence, and it's later um, felt by police officers that they have a mental health issue, they're suffering from mental illness. Um, can that can be converted to a, a section 136? No. Once somebody's in police custody at a police station for a criminal offence and a mental health condition perhaps first presents in police custody at the station, the, the 136 process can't be brought into play at that stage. The mental health matter would still be assessed, of course, by a doctor in police custody. A full mental health act assessment would take place if needed, but that would all be part of the criminal investigation for the original offence. And it may be at the end of that offence that somebody is uh, diverted to health or, in fact, still prosecuted for the criminal offence, even though they've got a mental health condition. And that's all decided in police custody under investigation. Right. And on the, just looking at the polarity, if somebody's arrested on a Section 136 of the Mental Health Act and they're taken to uh, the place of safety or the emergency department, um, could that 136 be converted into a public order arrest? Or Yes, you can do it the other way around. If someone is arrested under Section 136 and taken through a place of safety pathway that we're about to explain in this training aid, then at the end of that, if it's decided that there's no mental health problem or that their mental health problem is not a barrier to a criminal investigation, the person, as long as the criteria for the arrest are still satisfied, can still be processed for that criminal offence.